After death, DNA quickly degrades to tiny fragments, a hundred bases long, three million times smaller than when alive. But then the degradation slows down and it can survive in this fragmented form for thousands of years, as long as the conditions are right. If you want to recover ancient DNA, hopefully you'll find a site where there's limited ability for oxygen and moisture to get into the bone and further decompose it. And great extremes of temperature won't be occurring. In 1980, Croatian archaeologists excavated Vindia Cave and found a mass of bones. Among them, an unremarkable fragment known as V80. For some reason, this bone is packed with DNA. It contains more usable DNA than any other Neanderthal bone that's ever been tested the quite extraordinary rich content of DNA in this bone tell us that there was some sort of special condition in this cave, what, what was critical for preservation of DNA in this bone. Perhaps the temperature was right, the humidity, the soil, but other bones in the Vindia cave have not yielded as much DNA. There's something special about V80, its fragmented shape may be a clue. It's widely believed that Neanderthals in this part of Europe practiced cannibalism, whether for food or for ritual. They were splitting bones and defleshing them. If V80 was cannibalized, it may help explain why its DNA was so well preserved. Stripped of any organic material, the bone would not have attracted the same interest from animals, insects, or microbes. And its DNA would not have deteriorated so quickly. There are hundreds and hundreds of Neanderthal bones. Many of them have been tested for Neanderthal DNA. Only this bone could unlock the secrets of Neanderthal genome.